my wise logical mind says do this for your health but I just don't want to if you don't want to invest in your body for health reasons you probably want to dig deep down and try to figure out why not? Why is your body not important to you? Why are you willing to abuse your body? Are you not good enough to have, to be worthy of having a healthy body? Um, that's a really deep issue. And it, it really probably is best answered by a therapist. Um, but it's kind of short-sighted. And what's stopping you is probably you think this quest for this perfect body is, is probably a perfectionism perfectionism issue. And sometimes people have worked so hard to get to this perfect body. And they think that if they eat more or, um, you know, let themselves in, indulge in fun foods or something that they'll just explode and, and turn into like the ugly toad, you know, in the forest or something. And you know, that doesn't happen. So you have fears that are not grounded in facts. And just look at your fears. You know, I think, of course, you want a healthy body. I mean, doesn't every runner, doesn't every person. Um, and if you're saying that you don't want a healthy body, there's some fears that are tied up with that. And if you can just figure out what are you afraid of? And generally, people are afraid of getting fat. And it's like, no, your body's going to restore itself. You know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. You can look at your genetic family and sort of see where you, what you're supposed to weigh, you know, more or less. The lifestyle factors come into that. Um, but I would um, really invite you to look at the fears that are surrounding your unwillingness to budge. And when you speak to fears and you said about genetics, what if someone does look at their family and think, I, I don't want to look like that? What would you say to that? That is, that is a fear. Yeah. And what you want to look at is, is your family, um, say, if, if they're, they live in large bodies, is that because they overeat, don't exercise, live on potato chips and soft drinks I mean why is their weight what it is are they on antidepressants and that has led to weight gain so and if your body is just naturally solid if you are from Poland or Hungary or Mexico I mean there, people like dogs come in different breeds so you really have to figure out what breed of dog you are and if you are a Labrador or a golden retriever, you're not a whippet. You're, you're, you're not a, a, an English setter. You're not a chihuahua and you never will be. So there's a lot of body image work that needs to be done here. And the problem probably may not be your body, but it's your relationship with your body. And just remember that people like dogs come in different sizes and shapes. If you are a bulldog and other people in your family are bulldogs, you will always be a bulldog. Yes, you can starve yourself so that you look more like a chihuahua, but you know, you'll be a very miserable chihuahua mm. and your body will always want to go back to being a bulldog. And, you know, bulldogs are strong and powerful. I mean, yeah. and and I and I think you just want to nourish the body that you're meant to have and be grateful for it. Yeah. You know, what would your grandmother say if you say, I hate this body that you gave me? Yours, that body was probably good enough for her and it's yeah. good for you too. Yes, thank you so much.